my dear students good morning today i am going to present a powerpoint presentation on period plan so what is period plan period plan is nothing but lesson plan a plan for effective teaching for the learners in a classroom in 45 minutes is called period plan actually in period plan there are seven major parts number 1 is preliminary information content analysis third one is academic standards fourth one is teaching strategy fifth one is teaching learning material sixth one is reference material and seventh one is resources so first in preliminary information you have to write name of the student teacher hall ticket number class subject unit topic date duration period number school in which you are going to teach college in which you are studying name of the teacher name of the lecturer fourth one is information skills and projects in this children are able to collect the information related to contact force and force at a distance given in the textbook and also children are able to conduct a project work on different types of forces like magnetic force electrostatic force and gravitational force fifth one is communication through drawing and model making in this children are able to communicate their conceptual understanding of contact force and force at a distance by the way of drawing pictures sixth one is appreciation and aesthetic sense and values in this children are able to appreciate the earth's gravitational force and also children are able to see the beauty of the earth having the north pole and south pole seventh one is this is the last one application to daily life concern with biodiversity in this children are able to apply their understanding of different forces in their daily life for example toothpaste is got by applying direct force when a comb is rubbed with the hair it attracts paper bits this is because of 
electrostatic force. Now teaching strategy. Activities of uh, demonstration, reading and uh, discoveries. Teaching learning material, balloon, pieces of paper, magnetic compass, a bar magnet, stones, toothpaste, reference material, 8th class textbook and internet. Balloon, pieces of papers, magnetic compass, bar magnetic, stones and toothpaste. Resource, environment and internet. So, before going to prepare a table, you have to write some notes of the topic that is uh, a force for example. Actually in this table there are five columns, serial number, five E's, steps, teaching learning process in which actually in teaching learning process there are two columns teachers activity and people activity. So last fifth one is blackboard work or teaching learning material. So actually this table is based on only 5 is model you know well. 5 is model is related to constructive teaching model. So that's why in the first in 5 is engage. Engage is the first phase of 5 is model in which the steps are greetings and mind mapping um, probing questions then topic declaration then you have to go explore explore is the second phase of the five weeks that is number one reading the lesson by the students from page numbers also you have to mention say for example one two three and then recognizing the keywords by the children then group discussion what they have learned from reading then children discuss the keywords with their pre-group also fourth one is writing the keywords on the blackboard so fifth one is asking questions then writing the keywords on the blackboard again asking questions so third one is explain so explain is the third phase of the five is in which organizing the activities or conceptual understanding demonstration and discussion this related to elaborate so elaborate is the fourth phase of the five E's model in this demonstration and discussion is there and uh, fifth one is evaluation in the evaluation activity you teacher put some questions three or four questions then the students are able to give the answers then you go to homework. In this homework, there should be three or four questions and uh, teacher's reflection. Children actively, children actively participate in the demonstration in the psychomotor domain. Children answered most of the questions related to the concepts. So you have to mention extra information also forces existing in the nature, gravitational force, electromagnetic force and nuclear force. So finally, I wish you success in the teaching practice. Thank you.